Hey there, I'm Jesse, and you're listening to the Deep Lore Boys podcast, where me, Matthew, and Jackson delve into the random, rare, and often ridiculous pieces of human history. There's a red lobster. Wait, hold up. On on, on North South Sentinel, Sentinel Island. Island. On South Sentinel Island. It's just beach, trees, red lobster in the middle of the trees. Wait, wait, hold on. I uh, say, other than Hitler, who do you think has the most iconic mustache? Joseph Stalin. <laughs> <laughs> Let me read the, some of the opening lines on the Uncontacted People's Wikipedia to give everybody an idea of what we're dealing with here. Uncontacted peoples are communities or groups of indigenous peoples living without sustained contact to neighboring communities and the world community, and includes indigenous peoples in voluntary isolation, numbering up to 10,000 individuals between 100 and 200 tribes. Uh, majority of these are in South Africa, particularly Brazil, Wait, why don't why don't any of them live like further up north? I'm gonna start up a tribe in Canada. Start up an uncontacted people's tribe. We're gonna just just head out, completely uncontacted. We're gonna cut off all contact and just disappear. That sounds like a recipe for like a Sasquatch massacre movie, though. Yeah. I I don't know. I don't know if we can survive we could that. Put Sa- if Sasquatch comes by to eat our tribe, we'll just like eat him. <laughs> yes, there you go. Yeah, it'll I be like epic. this plan. I'm sure you're familiar with uh, North Sentinel Island and the Sentinelese. It, oh yeah, a little bit. I just saw this article and wanted to bring it up here. They are a major uh, uncontacted people. Like I, by major uncontacted people, I just mean one of the most well known ones. Yeah. Uh, attempts to contact them have usually been rebuffed, sometimes with a lethal force, according to Wikipedia. Their language is marked differently from other languages of the. Andamans, I think. So it suggests they've been isolated for quite a long time. And yeah, they just straight attack anybody who shows up and tries to be like, hey, how you guys doing? Oh, ah! Javelins. Yeah, apparently they throw stuff at helicopters when they come by. <laughs> yeah, I, I know they've done that a couple times. I mean, with all due respect, if you spent your entire life living on an island and some guy showed up in a helicopter, I'd be kind of pissed. We can kind of view it in the same way. I mean, if we view earth as an island and some aliens showed up in a giant spaceship we might we might not be too happy yeah i mean i'd throw stuff at that too yeah, i'd throw some stuff at, <laughs> i'd throw <laughs> a rock at a spaceship <laughs> wait a second somebody went there in 2018 and they killed him oh no he was, he was a missionary trying to convert them to christianity oh yeah john allen him. shaw john allen or shaw maybe shaw is what i'm seeing yeah, Shaw looks right. Oh, it's he... it's illegal to go there. Yeah, no, it's you're not allowed to go there. I think uh, whatever government, um, I believe India, kind of owns that area. They yeah. they don't let you go there. Yeah. So American missionary John Allen Shaw, probably but pronunciation, was killed by the Sentinelese during an illegal expedition to the island. He attempted to convert mm. the tribe to Christianity. Um, I mean, yeah, I, should, I agree with the sentiment. Hey, no, it was it was an attempt. That would have been cool. I think that's a... It would have been cool. It would have been Pogger, but... Would have been Poggers? R.I.P. The Pog was not to be. Oh, shoot. Wait, there's another. So there's two. There's two Sentinel Islands? Yeah, so there's two islands with tribes on them in the Andaman Islands. There's that one, and then on the... So wait, so there's... Is that... That's India, right? I just right? gotta go. I'm just gonna go on Google Maps and find them. Yeah, it's off the coast of India, apparently, is what it's saying. But apparently... I'm seeing that North Sentinel Island is one of like the smaller islands. It's not one of the main ones <clears throat> at the Andaman Islands. So there's a whole island chain here that I just didn't know existed. Oh yeah, it looks like it. Oh, I wait, I found South Sentinel Island. What? There's a red lobster there? There's a red lobster. Wait, hold up. On on, on North South Sentinel, Sentinel Island. Island. On South Sentinel Island. Okay. On the south one, there's a red lobster. How far away is South Sentinel what? Island from North Sentinel Island to the point where one is completely uncontacted and one has a red lobster? Well, for context, the one with the red lobster is entirely covered in jungle with the exception of a single red lobster in the middle. So Are you kidding? Wait. Is this there's like a, nothing po- else this on is a the populated island, island like- though, I would assume? No, there's nothing else here from what I'm seeing on Google Maps. There's not a runway. There's not a single building. Or Wait, a road there's or just anything. a red it's lobster just, in there? It's just beach, trees, red lobster in the middle of the trees. Wait, wait, hold on. The one review from three weeks ago says 
Hmm. It says, this island is forbidden for everyone. Do not get carried away by the other reviews. Do not try to come here. The tribal people are known to be dangerous. Oh, so is this just like a picture. Google Earth sham? I don't know. It says great place to eat. Bit out of the way, though. Thankfully, the locals on the beach helped me find my way. They're super friendly. On the Wikipedia, it says the island is uninhabited, but sometimes used by diving expeditions mm. on account of its remoteness and novelty factor. I think you might have just encountered a little Google Earth uh, goof there. Oh, it's definitely here. I'm seeing f- so many reviews on it. <laughs> apparently, yeah, apparently the parking there is pretty bad. Well, I would think, you know. Yeah, since the parking, there's... The, there's no parking lot there, but the staff is very accommodating. Why would there be parking? There's no cars on this island. There are no roads. Yeah, I don't. I don't really know how they got there. Why would the, parking the be bad? Is there is, is no so parking. Bad, maybe. <laughs> like, <laughs> wait. The owner says. So this guy who wrote the reviews, his name is Brian, right? And he's complaining about the parking sucks. They were out of cheddar biscuits. The staff was very accommodating, <laughs> oh. but there was a language barrier. Gave it two stars. Oh man. All right. The the owner says hi, Brian. If parking is so bad, maybe you should have parked at the bottom of the ocean. I'm Ooh. also sorry the language barrier was too difficult for you. Maybe if you had attended elementary school, you would be able to speak <laughs> to them. To have the gall to rate this Red Lobster two stars is ridiculous. You know it what? Is quality of the highest order. And if you believe anything else, you are objectively incorrect. I expect a written apology to all my dear employees. I He was... really got them. He really got them, yeah. <laughs> there's two two five star reviews from a year ago that just say eat no <laughs> no capitalization no punctuation i really want to believe that there's a red lobster on south sentinel island this is too good there definitely is <laughs> there definitely there definitely is i'm seeing it dude what what should we leave here is the review oh are you gonna leave a review hmm, i'm leaving a review uh we're already ranking at five stars That's oh yeah go, go right ahead uh truly incredible uh, I met Barack Obama. That is true. <laughs> I met him at the Red Lobster. You met him, Sentinel Barack Island. Obama, at the Red Lobster on South Sentinel Island. Yes. He said, my fellow Americans, I would like to inform you that the Red Lobster uh, cheddar cheese biscuits are very good. If you can get them. Uh, apparently they were out of them yesterday. Parking kind of sucks, but, you know... Park- <laughs> My fellow Americans, parking kind of sucks, but <laughs> if you're going to complain, you can park at the bottom of the ocean. There is a little bit of a language barrier, but the staff is very I did not go to elementary kind. schools. <laughs> like, Perhaps if you'd gone to elementary school, you would understand. I gotta, I gotta tell them what I did with Obama. Yeah, I'm gonna say we went diving to find the cars parked at the bottom. <laughs> yes! This has inspired me a little bit. Maybe we should leave a review on uh, North Sentinel Island. Yeah, I think we should if I can find it. I mean, you could probably I, just got to be it close. Find it on Google Earth. I'm determined to find it, like Sea of Thieves style. Oh, I found it. Oh, did it's you? way bigger. It's way bigger than. It turns out it's right above South Sentinel Island, but it's a yeah, lot bigger. Yeah, that you know because of the North part. Oh man, hold on. There's a whole Wikipedia about the North Sentinel Island that I didn't even click into. I was reading like the brief summed up version on the <laughs> Uncontacted People's Wiki, but there's a whole bunch of expeditions I could look into. <laughs> oh no. What, what, what have you done? <laughs> it's the signature Matthew Cackle. Something's, something's going oh, down. No. Memes are afoot. <laughs> no, no. Hopefully this is allowed to be. I did it. It's there. <laughs> you left a review. Oh, they're gonna review. They're gonna. Re- they're gonna review what I've done. But I left. I left a location marker on <laughs> North Sentinel <laughs> Island. Okay. <laughs> it's it's a place of worship. Is what it's tagged as. <laughs> it's called <laughs> Among Us Headquarters. <laughs> <laughs> what have you done? I'm really curious to see if it's here, if it shows up already. you got to go on. Let me Google it and find out. Oh, no. you got to just go on Google Maps and North look at Sentinel, Sentinel Island, Island and see if Among Us headquarters shows up. I swear if it's there. Uh, I, don't, I don't think it's here yet. Oh, no. I'm, I'm going to just add Among Us headquarters again just to make just, sure. Just to make sure. Just to make sure it's actually on here. I just, just 
<laughs> Jackson, you don't need to do this much, Jackson. No, no Jackson has been working past... out the entire time because he didn't exercise yesterday. No, or I haven't exercised for the past three days. This is a long time for going on. Jackson, yeah, he's got to get those gains. Jackson stood like right behind me, lifting weights for like an hour. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna do 50 squats, which definitely is gonna help me do breathing super Dude, the gains. I found I found a really nice article here somewhere. It's something else. It's something really wild. Oh, this is this is really important. I'm not sure how to like copy and paste this article. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little worried for what I'm gonna find. Oh no. <laughs> Fandom wiki gamer juice. <laughs> Oh, this is not as long Dude. as I thought it would be. Gamer juice is a drink with a lot of sugar in it. <laughs> it is designed it. to unleash the raging beast within <laughs> every gamer, causing them to game super epically. Okay, that sentence threw me for a loop. But... <laughs> to game super epically. Have you ever World wanted to Wolf game crap? epically? Dude. Dude. There's comments. Yeah, there's comments on this I thing. I drink gamer juice with my veggies, so go, 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 go. <laughs> This says a lot about society. Okay, this okay. is... This is Dog with a Blog, the greatest show I ever made. I took a swig of Gamer Juice and now I hate women. <laughs> what? what? Go down, go down. What a based take. Oh my gosh, I gotta, I gotta leave a comment on this one. Add a comment about Gamer Juice. Jackson, what are you doing, mate? Oh. Wait, I posted my comment. It just said something went wrong, please try again later, and then it doesn't post. Oh, you weren't epic enough. God has left us. Yeah, gamer gamer juice is what I really wanted to really want to yeah, do <laughs> this show. I wonder if we could look up the craziest mustaches ever grown and try to describe them on this. Like the like the biggest mustaches ever grown. Yeah, that could be fun. I kind of want to know what, what those are. Hold on, yo, Hulk Hogan is on the mustache Wikipedia. He does have a pretty decent mustache. I'm gonna be real. It was very decent. So is Adolf Hitler though. So I, I don't I don't know what that says. Oh shoot. I was say, other than Hitler, who do you think has the most iconic mustache? And I think it really is Hulk Hogan. Joseph Stalin. <laughs> no, no, I think Hulk Hogan is more iconic at this point. Than I, I love how you removed Hitler from that list, because we all know Hitler's mustache was the most iconic. Dude, that mustache sticks out, man. Everybody knows it. Now, you know that mustache existed because basically they couldn't fit the gas mask on, like it would make a seal by just sticking it on your face if you had a mustache, and so they would trim up the edge of the mustache so that they could Dang. put on a gas mask. Panayov Haitov? Panayot Haitov. My That's gosh, impressive. that is a massive mustache. How long would it take to grow that? Oh, shoot. This guy does have a mustache. Look at that. That's sticking, like, I would say six, seven inches off of the sides of his face. Yeah. That's impressive, dude. That is very impressive. Panayo Ivanov Hitov, I butchered that, I know. 1830 to 1918 was his lifespan. He had quite the mustache to show for it. One thing that I really want to point out here, okay, it's kind of weird, is that people since the beginning of time have been able to grow facial hair, right? That's just a common thing. And people way back in the day, like 5,000 years ago, before that, could grow beards and stuff all the time. We saw it happen, like, we know that people back in the day had beards, which means they could have grown mustaches. But I feel like nobody up until, you know, very actually recently actually grew mustaches. It kind of feels like that, don't it? I don't know. Like, you don't hear a whole lot about people before the past maybe like 200 years having a mustache. Yeah, I think... I, did mustaches, like, grow into fashion as humanity progressed? Like, back in the day, it just wasn't the thing to do? I guess because it would have been a lot more difficult to, like, shave your entire face when you didn't really have more modern beard technology. <laughs> All of our modern beard technology. Dude, we got the beard tech. We leveling up, man. Is it any wonder people are afraid of technology? Technology! Technology! And who has the this longest a... phone call ever? What? 56 hours and 4 minutes. Where... Where did that come from? How you looked up biggest mustache ever? 
and you're looking at an article on the world's longest phone call. Wait, that's the longest phone call ever? 56 hours, four minutes? I could beat that. Is that like, does that include that. like you have to be talking or is it just leave the phone on? I would assume you'd have to be talking into the phone. A phone conversation lasted for 56 hours and four minutes. Now, now hold on. Let me do a quick, let me do a quick Google here. I'll, I'll do you one better. Longest podcast recording ever. Oh, let's see this. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, top result on Google is from Mike Russell, who hosted a 36-hour nonstop podcast on the 21st and 22nd of April 2016. He didn't sleep for the full 36-hour marathon and broke the world record for the longest ever continuous podcast. We, we can top that. I think we should, honestly, I think we should find a weekend where we're free and have plenty of time. Yeah, actually. <laughs> and seriously, we should beat that. I think that'd be a great publicity stunt. Actually, I, I'm kind of okay with that idea. I think not sleeping for 36 hours might get a little difficult. Like See, that's the problem. That's what's going to really do me in. Well, hold Even... on. Though. If you sleep, 36 hours is barely more than 24 hours. Barely. <laughs> Tell well, that to somebody who's been awake for 24 hours. Just be like, nah, dude, it's just another 12 hours. It's only half of what you've already done. You're fine. Have you ever been up for 24 hours? Yes, once. I have two, and it, it didn't end well. Oh, you know, it was um, awful. Yeah, it, it's it's not fun. I'm thinking, yeah, we could beat the world record for the longest live stream ever done. I don't know if you heard about Ludwig's subathon, like, a few months ago, but that was he meant to just have it it was this idea that he had where he was just going to do a live stream and basically every time somebody would subscribe on twitch it would add a few minutes to his timer and he was just going to go until the timer ran out oh, and no. so he thought it was just going to be a quick stream uh basically people didn't people didn't want it to end and so it went for 31 days Jeez. before you know an entire month had gone by where he was just straight live on twitch and i actually watched some of it like he's talking <laughs> about it and stuff it full-on happened he was live for 31 days he would it was in his bedroom like he would sleep and then wake up and just like go to the desk and stream oh i think and i've actually i may do. have seen clips of this Dang. And the only reason it stopped after 31 days was just because he called it at that. He was like, no, I'm not doing this anymore. It was just absolutely unreal. And the moment that, like, right before it ended, too, just the amount of subs that he got pouring in to just jack the timer up as high as they could get, it was just unreal. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, all it takes is a couple alt accounts, and yeah, you got no, and There you go. But no, I don't think I don't think we could break his record. That's insane. You guys don't want to have a Deep Lore Boys 31 day special, dude. That could be oh, that could be kind of exciting. What I am seeing is that the longest live stream ever done by somebody on YouTube. So the subathon was on Twitch. YouTube was almost 282 hours, which is a long time. That's shorter than 31 days. It's like. 12 days or something. Okay, so we could totally break the record for YouTube live streams with two weeks. I don't know, dog. I got a job. <laughs> I use all my vacation days for the two-week Deep Lore Boys live stream. We could go over the lore of the entire world. That could actually be really fun. Literally starting at the very beginning. The creation of the world. The very <laughs> origin point. So how many... The like, how much money and fame is involved in breaking a Guinness World Record? I don't that know. That depends on the record. I know a whole bunch of weird, funny world records that have been broken. I don't know any of the people behind them. Yeah, because I know I was there for the world record largest fossil dig. They had that. It was me and over 900 other people. Oh, and shoot. And we got there and just all... It was the largest, like, you know, group of people going fossil hunting in one place at one time. And, Dang, and so you we were there all just for grouped that. up there and I was there for that, yeah. That's pretty cool. And it was a it was a good time, I'm gonna be real. Every time I leave a lot of reviews on Google Maps and they always get taken down. You're that guy. Okay, this this review I left six months ago, five stars. It's ranking a um <laughs> a volcano and you ranked this, a volcano it's a, it's a volcano off the coast of antarctica okay and this okay. review just says 
having consumed the contents of several Siberian septic tanks, I can <laughs> confirm the taste of the cocoa here is incredibly similar. One would think that hot cocoa flowing from a volcano in Antarctica would taste delicious. But, spoken from experience, you should never drink anything that comes out from a volcano, especially if it smells like a septic tank. Five stars because I think it looks cool and reminds me of Woohoo Island and Wii Sports Resort if it was super cold and French and smelled like poo. What an incredible review. What in the it name really- of all that is holy? <laughs> You go around ranking volcanoes on Google it's Earth. It's a French-owned just... volcano. <laughs> you just do it's... this like, you know. This is just what it does. You wake up in the morning. You watch a couple YouTube videos. So I wake up, rank sit a down. volcano. Ah, uh, a volcano. And then, of course, our newest Red Lobster. Very important. Hi again, it's Jesse. Hope you enjoyed this episode of the Deep Lore Boys podcast. You can find more episodes of our show on YouTube and Spotify, which we encourage you to share with your friends so we can grow the podcast. And drop a comment down below if you're feeling extra generous. We love hearing from you guys. Thanks so much for listening, and I hope your day is nothing short of interesting. Take care. I'm going to go post that one on Twitter.com.